Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to the shop. I appreciate you stopping by. As you can see, we're here at the South Bend 9A. I've uh, put this old chuck on here, three-jaw chuck. I've just been playing around with it a little bit, but not much. Um, mainly because i got a question on the gearbox. And this video, even though it's real short today, it, it's more for some of my uh, followers who are very knowledgeable about the, the South Bend 9A. And if, as you've noticed by the name of this video, it's a thumping question because I do have a thumping question for you guys. So first I want to explain to you what's going on and, and run the lathe. Right now I've got the, the tumblers. The left tumbler is in, in hole A. The right hand tumbler is in hole 1. If I was threading according to the chart, I would be doing 4 threads per inch, which is turning the, uh, the lead screw at a, at a very fast pace. But I'm going to turn this on now and uh, listen to what you hear. Nice and quiet, the way she should be. Shut her off there. If I move the right hand column here, tumbler, sometimes she can be tough to get out of those holes. Just switch hands to my. I'm trying to do this with my. Uh, there we go. Now I've got it engaged in A, column 2. Hole A, column 2, according to the chart that would normally be sitting right here this would be for four and a half threads per inch and she got a thump the gearbox thumps away I have not been able to pinpoint the the sound where it's coming from I've uh, put shafts on each one of these bosses and on the shafts themselves that's a screwdriver not a shaft but to put to my ear to listen use it like a stethoscope and I cannot pinpoint where it's coming from sometimes when I stand back it actually almost sounds like it's coming from up here in the uh, the headstock but it's not um, when I put the stethoscope up here I get nothing it's definitely coming from the gearbox so turn this on and I'm gonna move the camera in close because I'm not exactly sure where my microphone is on this and I want you to hear it and uh, guys that you know about these things if you uh, have any idea what it might be please let me know I do tend on t intend to take the gearbox off today and uh, flip it over and, and take a look at it see if I see anything out of the ordinary down in there uh, turn the shaft by hand a little bit, the lead screw by hand, and see if I see anything that, that, that looks wrong. But I'm probably going to do all that off the camera unless I just find something really glaring that I can show you. But I'll do all that off camera. But anybody that's got any advice, I surely appreciate you letting me know about it. If you remember two videos ago when I rebuilt the gearbox, I told you that was the second time I was doing it. And I'd had it on here the night before. And in certain combinations of the tumblers which it was this one right here it would slip the the belt on the pulley it would lock up but it's not locking up anymore but it's but it is thumping so whatever was in there causing it to lock up is is lightened up a little bit i might say and causing that thump so listen up to the thump uh the picture's probably going to get blurry when i move the camera in closer so you can hear it but i do want you to hear it so here we go I'll go ahead and put the left hand tumbler here in hole B and uh, that sound will be gone. You can definitely tell that there is no thumping anymore. It only thumps and I've run it through all the ranges of gear cutting. It only thumps in left hand tumbler hole A, second hand tumbler in column 2 for four and a half threads to the inch. So anyway Feedback is welcome and appreciated, guys. I, I need your help on this because this is uh, beyond my amateur ability. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you all stopping by. Click like if you like. Click don't like, but please do subscribe to my channel for you new folks out there just looking around. All right, we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.